Hi, Shannon Waller here, and welcome to the Team Success Podcast. This is number two of Strategic Coach's Extraordinary Coach Culture, and it's really the 15 values that really have created Strategic Coach to this point and will continue to develop us as a company and as a team, and I'm very excited to share this with you. So this is number two that we're going to get into today, and this is all about unique ability. Now, unique ability is quite a big topic. We have written several books about it. We're working on one about unique ability teamwork right now. I could talk for hours about unique ability, but I won't. (laughs) This will be a shorter version today. But I'm going to talk about how unique ability impacts us as a company. And it really is our overriding premise. It's our overriding way that we operate. So what is unique ability and, and why is it important? Well, unique ability are those things that you love to do that you're best at, that give you energy as opposed to drain you, and where you can always see room for improvement, which I love that part because you can always see new facets, new nuances, new things you could try and experiment with. Now, how does it work to have this as being a company value? Well, it's really kind of interesting. So unique ability is really a cornerstone of how we organize ourselves as a company and as a team, and it will always be kind of the touchstone of if you're wondering what how Strategic Coach functions and what it's organized around, unique ability <laughs> would be, it actually is always the most important fundamental touchstone for all of us. So here's what we tell our team members when they're joining Coach about their unique ability. And this is pretty exciting. I want you to imagine being a team member, joining a company, and having this said to you. So here's the quote. We're shooting for everyone at Strategic Coach to have the daily experience of operating within a superior skill that's really great. So you're passionate about what you're doing. The work you're doing energizes you and the other people working with you. And you see yourself making constant, never-ending improvement. Now, that's pretty spectacular. What we want is to find out what is unique and special about you and how can we help you grow that? How can we protect you from things that are not your unique abilities? How can we expand that? How can it create more value? How can you always get better? That really is what we want to know about new team members joining Strategic Coach and even existing ones. You know, you've been around for a while. Some of us have been around for a very long time. It doesn't end. It doesn't stop. We don't pigeonhole people. It's like, oh, what's the new development of your unique ability? And that's one of the fascinating things about this whole concept of unique ability is that in my experience, it gets more focused. You get clearer on your audience. That tends to be the biggest change, but it becomes more concentrated and more effective and you can do it at a higher and higher level the more you've been doing it. So there's really no end. I consider unique ability to be a lifelong conversation you have with yourself. It's not just, oh, I'm really good at this, next. Mm -mm. That's not how we look at it. And then we're constantly looking at how can we configure unique abilities to really work? How can we use it to maximize our results and our progress and our speed? I'm a big fan of velocity. I love it when teamwork is effective and fast. That to me is a very happy combination of circumstances. And that's what we find when you are really, really good at something and you're passionate about it, you also tend to be very quick. Now, just to take a really, really simple example, some people are just brilliant with a tool like spreadsheets. So take Excel, for example, and they can just whip it together. They can organize information. They can create formulas. They can help us see things. They know how to do the different graphs and displays of information. And what they can do in two hours would take me 30 It's like, oh dear. And they just are playing. For them, it's fun. It's easy. They have this awesome tool that leverages how their brains work. It's just dreamy to watch them. Now, if I create a spreadsheet, which I have done, I am capable. It's simple. I know how to do the formulas. I'm happy about that. But that's not my unique ability. It's not my unique ability to organize information in that way. And I'll create about two spreadsheets a year. (laughs) That's how many I need. And fortunately, my career is not based on that. It's based on doing other things, much more like this. And I have other people who would hate to do this. It would take them hours and hours and hours and hours and hours to produce a 15-minute podcast. So I'm appreciative of the fact that lots of different skills and passion levels exist out there. But the question is, how can we fit together? How can we put all the puzzle pieces, again, so it can happen effectively, so it can happen fast? Sometimes you have more people in the process than you might think. So we have a book writing process around writing a quarterly book. 
Yes, we produce one new book a quarter. Fabulous little short, sweet books with brilliant cartoons, an audio interview that I do with Dan Sullivan. Great, great, great writing. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And there's a team of nine people who put that together. And there's a whole process. And it's all sequenced. It's all really well organized and coordinated by a great scheduler. And that process produces a book every 90 days. Bam. Without fail. That's pretty powerful. And not that long ago, we had the person who was now doing the editing, she was doing the writing and the editing, and it was causing her an enormous, enormous amount of stress. And she took the courageous move of letting the right people know that this was an issue and she really needed some help and it wasn't her unique ability and she really, really, really wanted to do your unique ability. And she had to have an important conversation. And I said, you know what? The person you need to speak with it has an absolute commitment to unique ability and to teamwork, and this will be fine. Sure enough, she presented her, in this case, it was in one of our tools called an impact filter, and the answer was, great, let's do it. She found a very, very talented writer who she happened to be related to, and the two of them are this dynamic duo of writing and editing and do a brilliant job. So by adding a new talent, we added new energy and new focus, and then everyone is kind of in their happy place, which is really, really fun. And we have lots more books to go, so this will be an unending process as far as we're concerned. But that's an example of having a commitment to unique ability, is that when someone says, I'm fully committed to this, I want to make sure it happens, but I can't do this part of it anymore, but here's a solution, then we say yes. And that's really powerful. And I think it's something that the longer our team members are here, they know that that's actually what the conversation will be like, that if they can talk it through and clearly present what's going on, and especially if they can present a solution as well, then we're all ears. We're not about putting square pegs in round holes. We've never found that to be a very effective process. If we do have a space that needs filling, we will try and find the right fit person. We don't try and sand off all their edges and make it work. And No, you can't do that. You have to do this. That's not how we roll. And I really like that. It's interesting. We did an exercise in our last team meeting. A bunch of us take turns hosting this meeting. By the way, there's 100 and some odd people there, so it's not small. And the question at the bottom of one of the exercises is, what do you most appreciate about working at Strategic Coach? And all of the answers I heard and heard talked about where I love that I get to be myself. I love that people want to know what my unique ability is. I really feel appreciated for my strengths and who I am as a person. That's what people wrote down. Like, how incredible is that? They love that they got to do their unique ability and that they were appreciated as an individual with a unique contribution. And that's really our growth path here at Coach is that we want people to expand and develop their unique abilities. Now, does that happen Overnight, no, it does not. Yes, stuff needs to get done, and it does. But as much as possible and for as long as possible, we always really, really work to make sure that people are in their areas of unique ability because we know that's where the greatest juice is. When you've got superior skill plus passion, you have a formula for success. Obviously, it has to serve the needs of the business. Otherwise, that unique ability belongs elsewhere. But when people can line those things up in service of what our goals are and what our bigger plan is, you've got a fast track there. You've got a powerful engine driving forward. And the other thing we found is it doesn't require a whole lot of managing. Leadership, yes. Please point out the direction we're going so people (laughs) know exactly where to direct their talents and what you're looking for. But it doesn't require a lot of day-to-day management because people are doing what they want. They're doing what gives them energy, what they love to do. Now, people also need to have the right mindset about that. The mindset that gets in the way of unique ability is a status mindset. If someone is more interested in the title, in where their office is, in how many people report to them, or the size of their salary versus their contribution, then this unique ability conversation will completely and totally rub them the wrong way. You know, it's really important for us that we ferret out that mindset and not read them the riot act, but let them know that that mindset doesn't work here. We're incredibly collaborative. We respect and appreciate everyone's unique ability. It's not about status. So if that's important to you, you're not going to find that here. The interesting thing is when people really do focus in on and develop and expand their unique ability, the byproduct is status. But that's not the goal. They get a ton of status because they're so darn good at it. I was just reading some emails today where we have these little awards 
We're fans of Sock Monkey, so they're called the Monkey Award. And this one person got nominated, and you would not believe the warm and heartfelt comments, including one person said, I joined this company because I really wanted to work for him. Like, what an incredible validation that is. So he's definitely <laughs> nominated for a monkey. But, you know, that's pretty inspiring. And he's in his unique ability. He loves it. And it attracts really, really great people. And you keep really great people. That's a huge reason why we have so many people on our team have been here for more than 10 years. Most people do not have that kind of retention. So you make yourself incredibly attractive to a company when you can say, we're really interested in who you are. What are you great at? What do you most love to do? How can we help you do more of that? Obviously in service of your goals. That's really, really powerful. People get really excited. You know, they walk around and go, wow, this is a different type of company. You've already given me some profiles so I can put words around what I'm great at. So we do the Colby profile, K-O-L-B-E dot com if you want to check that out. We do StrengthsFinder after people are hired. So that's in the GallupStrengthCenter.com site. And we just find new ways to help people discover who they are. Now, we really appreciate it when people have some self-awareness. That's good and are interested in growing and developing themselves. But that's really what we're up to. It's a fun environment to be in because you're always free to be yourself and you keep getting better. And that's really the cornerstone, as I said, of Strategic Coach. So one last thought I want to finish off here with is that when everybody gets to work inside of their unique ability, every team and the whole company can operate according to the company's unique ability. And if you want a differentiator in the marketplace, that's going to be because what you're doing and who you're being is unique and different than everybody else. So I hope you've really enjoyed this conversation about our extraordinary coach culture and our value number two unique ability. And it's inspired you to think about how you can do this with your team. So thank you very much for listening. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know at questions at strategiccoach.com. And as always, here's to your team success. Hi, Shannon here, and thank you very much for listening. If you like what you heard today, please take a moment to rate the Team Success Podcast on iTunes, and we'd love it if you'd share the podcast with anyone else who could benefit. If you're interested in learning more about the Strategic Coach Program for Entrepreneurs, visit us at strategiccoach.com or the Strategic Coach channel on YouTube. For free downloads and more team success strategies, visit teamsuccesshandbook.com. Mm-hmm.